All right, guys, on this video, I want to show you the MacBook Pro 2018 Core i9 processor. Let me open this up for you. We have to go on the, the bottom part. We have to take the six screws out. We have to use the Penta the screwdriver. After lifting this for the clips, you have to lift a little bit, grab from this side, and then slide over like this, slide it over. The reason why I'm saying this is because here we have two, two lockets. These lockers right here, the metal pieces, they go under here. On this MacBook Pro 2018, we have some bad news for you guys. Most likely to be able to replace all the chipsets, we have to unsolder them and solder them back. So most likely we're talking about the SD RAM, the 32 GB SD RAM right here. We're talking about to the one terabyte PCIe base SSD. We have a SanDisk right here. This will be one terabyte. In here we got the Radon Pro 560X with four gigabyte GDDR5 memory. On the other side we have the Core i9 2.9 gigahertz processor. We have the two fans right here and we have the Intel chipset right here. And in here we have another SanDisk chipset. So most likely, the let me show you guys more closer the chipset so you guys have a better idea how they look. Right there we have the SanDisk. This will be on the left side of the computer. This is another SanDisk right here. We got the SD RAM right there. Under here we have the T2 co-processor chipset. Just to let you know guys, this the Touch ID sensor will be the as will be work will work as a, the power switch and is you know link or attached with the T2 chipset on the logic board. So this is the T2 chipset. And that's the Intel chipset right there. Right here we have the actual fans. And under here, under here we have the processor and the Radon chipset. And that's the battery right here. We have a empty spot right here. Looks like uh, we could add here another S SSD. Look like the spot like this one right here. So most likely the top case right here that includes the keyboard, the battery, and the speakers. They are firmly glued, most likely to the chassis. So to be able to take them out, you have to maybe apply some, you know, some heat, and then you should be able, to, you should come off. The good news is that the trackpad, you are able to move it, to remove it from the actual computer by taking out this flex right here taking out the screws around it and then you don't have to actually take out any battery like the version before like 2011 you have to most likely take out the battery and then proceed taking out the trackpad on this case you could remove the screws 
and then sh the the casual trackpad could, should come off on the other side. Most likely, I just remove seventeen screws to be able to take out the the trackpad or the mouse. So we have to take out this flex right here. Once we lift it, we should be able to remove the trackpad. Actually remove the screws that are holding this little piece. You don't need to actually do it. We should be able to take out. What you need to do is to put the two screws that goes in the middle and then you continue around it. In here we have to put the, the two screws. After that we have the flex right here. We have to put the support. And here we have two little screws. Make sure you guys don't lose it. I had to change the type of screw driver for a smaller one. I use the small screw driver to center the screw and then the B one to actually put it on place. After that, we have to close the stickers. It's are like plastic with some glue. So make sure we close it, all of them. Make sure we close all this. Taking advantage of the glue that still is in there, we're gonna stick it in. Perfect. And now we have to put the cover. Make sure we leave everything in place. And now we have to put the case back on place. Remember, we have the metal pieces. We have to align it. Kind of a little bit harder to align it. Once we align it, we push it in right there. And then after we push it in, we have to start pushing down for the clips.
and after that we have to put the six screws that goes with the unit so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions comment leave it below and please don't forget to subscribe take care guys